I think most creative people have got um, a mental difference. There is a fine line between um, delusion and imagination. I was born an artist, I was born creative, um, and I've been trying to be a normal human being ever since. I am Dr. Aaron Bird, aka Temper. Are you chewing gum? Yeah, I take yeah, gum. I was one of the original, well, the original person to take the um, graffiti art onto canvas into commercial art galleries and contemporary art galleries. Some people call me a fine artist. Um, I do a lot of realism with spray paint. Just recently I've just become a doctor and that's for graffiti. I'm the first one um, to become a doctor for graffiti art. Success as, a, as, as an artist never actually happens with one big explosion. Like, it's like lots of little cluster bombs um, that, that make them changes. My first collection was The Good Die Young. I had eight members of my family die um, within two months. Um, and that spurred on this concept of bereavement. So, um, cut a long story short, like I, I did that, it sold out, it was beautiful. So yeah, and then every collection that I painted thereafter, like, was um, um, sold out. I brought nudity into, into my collections. Um, it was an area that people hadn't explored before, like, so it was like a, a, a new way of looking at graffiti art of doing these like almost like fine art, traditional sort of posed, but like in a contemporary way. And then I was fortunate enough to um, put a collection together um, called Post Grapholite, which was exhibited at um, Whitehall Palace. Again, I'm the only graffiti artist to, to be asked to um, exhibit at, 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 a, at a royal palace. It was the first collection to, to sell at 1.4 million uh, um, in graffiti art um, in, in, in the UK. You know when people say, oh, it's, it's second nature to me, to, to be honest, like, it's first nature to me. Um, when I was 11, I picked up the spray can for the first time. I, I can only put it down as, like, um, parallel to, like, finding God or, or some sort of faith, um, a deep inner feeling towards it. And I, as soon as I, I picked up the can for the first time, I knew it was going to be with me for the rest of my life. Um, it was going to be a friend to me, it was going to be my saviour. I used to go out and, and paint over like obscene um, or fascist sort of statements that had already been written before, before my painting. I felt like I was cleaning up the environment, to be honest. It, it was a bit different for the time, because like, there was a lot of graffiti artists that was trying to disrupt and like, you know, deface things, like, you know, whereas I was actually trying to go the opposite way. I wanted the art form to become something that was valid and, 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 and useful rather than defacing things. And, you know, and, and being negative, you know. Well, I think the, um, the struggles that I've had um, for the last 12 years, like, I mean, it was, it was quite shocking, to be honest, because I, I've been suffering with um, paranoid psychosis for, for many years, and it was undiagnosed. So, yeah, there's been some really low points um, where, you know, life didn't seem um, like right for me. Luckily for me, all my, my friends, loved ones, and um, supporters, you know, they've, they've never left my side, like, you know, they're, they're all my angels, you know, so, so there's always hope and there's always um, faith if people have got faith in you. But all the way through, like, I've, I've protected temper. You're playing two different roles. When, you, when, when Aaron is temper, that's fine, like, there's a performance, like, that's, that's a creative process, that's... But when Aaron's poorly, um, temper doesn't turn up, so it, it was kind of an impossible um, position to be in for many years. Um, however, like I say, temper sort of pulled Aaron back. Aaron saved temper's life and, and temper saved Aaron's life and, and, I'm, I, and I can talk like this all day about different personas in my personality and, and when you've got the label of having mental illness, like it might sound a bit schizophrenic but it's not. Um, it's it's, it's schizophrenic, schizophrenia's cousin. <laughs> Um, but no, it's, um, I, I think most creative people have got um, a mental difference. Um, I think you have to have mental difference, like, you know what I mean? And, and there is a fine line between um, delusion and imagination. Um, I think there's a fine line between, um, you know, um, creativity and insane. Uh, we've got 28 collections so far that have sold out. I've got 43 planned so I'm hoping to like sort of 
if I live long enough to, to, to fulfil all those collections out, you know. Um, but it's all about the advancement of the, the art form and, and where it can go. It's really exciting and, and, and Tampa's going to keep on like, pushing the, the boundaries and moving forward in a, in a, in a, a pioneering way, I think. That's, the, that's where I think that's going to go. I, I want to sort of still break down some of the doors that I'm still shut on, on, on the art form. Do you want to have a walk around a minute? Get oh, your feet? Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you don't mind. <laughs>